Welcome back. All season long, Collins Maxwell has held rank at number one. They have just one blemish on their record this season. Even crazier, they've given up just eight runs total on the year. That's in 25 games. Granby Christian knows how to put up runs, though, crossing the dish 23 times in their two regional games. Tonight, the Thunder and Spartans meeting for a trip to state in 1A. Michaela Hogue back in the circle, sporting a .270 ERA for Collins Maxwell. We'll get to her in a second. Bottom of three, we go. Spartans with a runner at third. Great bunt here on the sacrifice. That scores Alexis Hogue. one nothing. Collins Maxwell. An inning later, runner at first and with the outfielding close, Trinity Stover blasts one deep to center. That'll bring in another run on the triple. Two nothing Spartans, and they are feeling it. Then in the top of five, two on, same score. Grounder here gives Ella Kaler an infield single, but then it gets a little crazy. The first baseman throws to second. That ball gets dropped. Avery Fricky bolts for home. She's in three nothing ball game. Then Michaela Ho goes shutdown mode in the circle, gets the strikeout coming your way right here and then would end the game with the fly ball catch. Collins Maxwell is heading back to Fort Dodge once again with a 3 nothing win tonight. Other 1A scores in Region 5, North Mahaska took on Linville Soli in a top 15 battle. It's the Hawks topping the War Hawks 8-3. Region 4, Wayne over Melcher Dallas 8 to nothing. so those two will head to state as well. Earl of Minog did meeting up tonight in the 2A Region 2 final. Denali Locker in the circle tonight for the Bulldogs. She was ringing them up early and often. Strikes out the side in the second inning. Nine K's for the junior tonight. This one would be deadlocked at zero until the bottom of the fifth inning. Reagan Church hammers one here to left field. Ball gets by the fielder's glove and rolls toward the wall. Reagan Cruz puts it on cruise control through third, heads home, beating the throw to the plate. Ogden takes a 1 0 lead. Later in the inning, Ogden loads the bases for Lauren Kennedy. She slaps the ball through the infield gap. Amber Braniff is held at third, but Helena Nelson is going to be safe at home. 2 0 Ogden, top of the seventh now. Two outs. Earlham trying to make the comeback. Runner on third, heads home on the wild pitch. But what a play by the Bulldogs to get the tag, and Ogden wins 2 zip. They're heading to the state tournament for the first time since 1991. Other scores from around 2A, East Marshall taking on Jessup. One of those top five teams not making it to Fort Dodge. It's East Marshall that gets the win. 14-1, then a top 10 showdown with West Monona and Mount Air squaring off. The Raiderettes with a big 9-0 victory over the Spartans, so we will catch them at the Harlan Rogers Sports Complex next week as well. And finally, in 3A tonight, out in trainer, Southeast Valley tried to pull off the upset. But the Cardinals edge the Jags 5 to 3. North Polk traveled south to Albia. The Blue Demons are heading back to state with a 9 6 win. Tomorrow night, we find out who's advancing to state in Class 4A and 5A.